Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. And we're on July 25th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at space weather, world weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, and as well, a very active sun right now. Earth-facing sunspots. Not very active in the Earth-facing position, but we do have activity that is coming our way from yesterday's event as well looking at incoming images here outgoing cme you can see the left side a little flash there plasma eruption so coronal mass ejection coming off of the outgoing position quick look at all the activity at 304 angstroms looking at multi-spectrum here can see the activity southwest and then in the northeast region there and luckily that was not again luckily that was not earth directed it was directed right at the parker solar probe though having a look here 193 angstroms no deepening coronal holes to talk about Lasco 2 and 3 showing the CME off of the right side there. Other than that, no major sun activity headed our way. You can see the CME here on Iswa, directed right at Parker Solar Probe and Stereo B. Looking here, real-time solar wind. As we are sitting at 347 kilometers per second, we did have a spike earlier in the morning up to about 470 kilometers per second. It didn't last very long and it was jagged up and down. Looking here at the solar x-ray flux remains low as well as the geomagnetic activity. Schumann resonance for today, a power of 29, small spike there just recently. Quality of 7.4, amplitude of 29. Let's have a look at earthquakes the last 24 hours across the planet. We're going to start out most recently here in the active region of the Kermadec Islands, Fiji, still seeing deep earthquakes throughout, as well, sizable 5.3 reported today, as well a 5.8. But all of these earthquakes, 400 kilometers and deeper throughout the region 5.3 and a 5.8 there Kermadec Islands so that's the largest last 24 hours and the deepest here 486 kilometer depth so it continued action through the Kermadex right now heads up be ready everybody 4.9 here to report Guam Village as well, a 4.3 here in Dompu, Indonesia. Very quiet throughout the region today. As well, a 4.0 here, Izu Islands. 506 kilometer depth, so correct. That is the deepest earthquake today. As well, Kuril Islands seeing a 4.2. Pretty deep as well. 4.5 there in India. 4.6 reported in Kyrgyzstan. And as well, Turkey seeing a 3.3 and as well a 4.2. And they had a massive landslide overnight through the region. So thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected there. Puerto Rico earthquakes continue. Minor rumbles, 3.5 there, largest today. And then through Central America, Nicaragua, 4.3. Mexico, 5.0, 204 kilometer depth. And last night we did see a sizable 5.4 here. La, La Rivera, Mexico, at a 9-kilometer depth, followed by a 4.6. Kind of expecting something larger after that. One 2.6 there, Oklahoma. And a minor activity through the springs and through Petrolia, California. We'll have a quick look at USGS across the North American plate right now. No major swarms to talk about. 
but definitely going to have a quick look at USGS. You can see minor activity in the regular regions as well through Idaho and just north of Shasta here. Cascade Lock, the one lonely earthquake right on the Cascade Lock. And it's interesting because we were talking in the live stream and it kind of seems like the earthquakes are locked up right now. So heads up, Cascades. Stay aware and prepared. Let's have a quick look at the last seven days across the planet. Increased activity through Southeast Asia and up into Russia. As well through the Atlantic Plate. And just recently, activity coming back to Central America. And continuing deep earthquakes through the Kermadex Southwest Ring of Fire. So heads up antipode to that. Let's have a quick look at Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent volcanoes to update. Dokono in Indonesia, Shivalich in Russia, Kermiski, Russia, Reventador in Ecuador, Nevados de Chile in Colombia, Nevados de Ruiz in Colombia. Many, many fires across this map. Sabancaya in Peru, Fuego, Guatemala, Sangay in Ecuador, Semeru, Indonesia. And as well, Merapi in Indonesia. So that's about 11 volcanoes getting updated again. Today, it seems to be about the same volcanoes, except for Shivalish. Have a quick look here. New fires through Washington and as well Oregon. But not all being reported here with the Pacific Disaster Center. I suggest getting the My Radar map, as they do have many more reports of the fires but you can see the threat is still lingering as we've got extreme heat conditions through central prairies into Saskatchewan, Manitoba, really dry conditions. Tropical storm Infa is now on the coast and running into China. Shanghai is really dealing with a lot of rain right now, looking at satellite imagery as well. They have tropical storm Nepartek, which is going to be heading towards and into Japan in the long range, but not going to have much moisture associated with it. Seems like Infa has most of it. As well, still watching storm and flooding conditions through Cambodia, Vietnam, and as well Sri Lanka and Mumbai. Long atmospheric river stretching from Russia down to Cambodia. Many fires as well, new fires through Russia being reported today in the past 12 hours. We'll have a quick look here at NASA Worldview. This is overlooking North America yesterday. That's today. But let's have a quick look over Russia, see what all of these new fires are about. And yeah, we've got many, many large fires. It is a forest fire season throughout that region as well. And as well, British Columbia. But this has been an intense season so far, and we've got lots of time to go. California, Oregon, Washington, British Columbia. And is now and as well, Mana sorry, Montana now. You can see many fires going up throughout the state. Having a look here over Alberta, clear, overlooking the border with BC. You can see a couple new fires sprouted today. And as well, just south of the border there through Washington, some new fires flaring up. And then look through uh, Montana here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven new fires today through Montana. Let's see if we've got any relief coming here. Meteor Earth, five-day forecast brought to you by of course, Meteo Earth and as well daily events worldwide starting out here, Calgary, Alberta home base as we've got some pretty warm conditions right now and still lightly smoky, partly smoky skies kind of moves in at night and gets drawn up during the day. Most of the moisture here in the five day forecast is going in a low pressure system through Manitoba and then into Ontario. Other than that, 
we've just got this huge anti-cyclone high pressure ridge spinning over uh, Nevada and the deserts there through western United States, bringing monsoon rains to parts of Arizona. But watch for quite a bit of rain to move into the Atlantic provinces there in the long range forecast. And as well, watch for this high pressure ridge to get bounced around in the long range forecast as well. Europe dealing with yet another large low, and it looks like it's going to be spinning moisture through central parts and then moving its way slowly northeast. Overlooking Southeast Asia and India, heavy rains still to continue through eastern parts of India and up into the Mongolia. And then five-day forecast is showing Infa heading towards North Korea in the long range. But you've got about two or three days there of that storm is going to be spinning and dropping lots of rain. Looking at the other tropical storm, Nepartek heading over Japan. Overlooking Australia, waves of moisture here heading through southwestern Perth. Monday into Tuesday. And then Wednesday into Thursday, we've got some rain moving in for southeastern parts and as well Tasmania. No major systems developing or heading towards Hawaii right now. And as well, high pressure ridge still pretty dominant, thwarting all these low pressure systems northward towards Alaska. Looking through Central America here, no major systems developing. South America, heavy rains through Colombia and Panama this week. And then looking through Africa here, we've got two low pressure systems who are going to be heading across the continent here. Five day forecast should be interesting. I'm pretty sure they're going to roar to life once they get to, to the Atlantic. This is where our Atlantic hurricanes are born. Going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern, pointing out the major systems in both hemispheres. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with the Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning dew. Bye bye now. Prayers for humanity. today's video please hit that like button subscribe share with your friends and family from across the world